killer bees. Hello there, friends. Today, we are going to learn all about killer bees. If you want to read along, head over to our website, learnbright.org, to download this lesson. What are killer bees? Killer bees, also known as Africanized honeybees, look similar to regular honeybees. They are small and have yellow and black stripes on their bodies. This human-bred subspecies originated in South America and are well-suited to warm climates. They have spread to many places throughout the Americas. In their new homes, they often live in hives, like other bees, and build their nests in hollow trees, old buildings, or sometimes even the ground. Like regular honeybees, killer bees live in groups called colonies. The colonies consist of thousands of bees working together. Inside the colony is a bee called the queen, whose job it is to lay eggs. There are also worker bees that collect nectar and pollen to make honey and protect the colony. Male bees are called drones. Their primary purpose is to mate with the queen. As you can see, these bees are social creatures who rely on teamwork to survive and build their hives. Killer bees take good care of their young just as other bees do. The queen bee lays eggs in the hive and the worker bees feed and protect the developing baby bees called larvae. Once the larvae grow, they pupate and eventually become adult bees. The colony works together to ensure the young bees are safe and have enough food to grow. This cooperative parenting helps the colony thrive and continue to produce more offspring ensuring the survival of their species. What do killer bees eat? Let's talk food. Killer bees have a special diet that's all about flowers. They eat two things, nectar and pollen. Nectar is a kind of sweet juice that the flowers make, and it gives the bees lots of energy. Pollen is like tiny pieces of dust that stick to bees as they visit the flower. It's packed with nutrients so it is a very healthy snack for them. Killer bees are fantastic at gathering food. When they visit flowers to get nectar, they use a long, straw-like tongue called a proboscis. It's like having a built-in straw for sipping. Some pollen sticks to their fuzzy bodies as they drink the nectar, since they have little sticky hairs all over them. They don't eat the pollen immediately, they collect it and return to their nest. Moving pollen from flower to flower is how they help plants make seeds and fruits while simultaneously getting their food. Other interesting facts. Why are killer bees also called Africanized honeybees? It is because the ancestors from which they get their aggression are from Africa. African honeybees are an especially hostile species. Africanized honeybees, though, actually have a mix of both African and European bee genes. They are known for their adaptability to hot climates and their ability to thrive in different environments. Those traits make them attractive to scientists who want to study how animals adapt to new homes. Scientists gave these insects the nickname killer bees because of their aggressive behavior when it comes to defending their nests and because killer bees have killed some humans. They are famous for being fast flyers and quick to protect their nests. When threatened, they form a swarm and chase away the intruders. Scientists call this behavior aggressive defense. It's like having a neighborhood watch that's always on high alert. When they swarm, their buzzing can be quite loud, which is their way of warning others to stay away. Considering their history, it's no surprise that killer bees are also excellent explorers. They've traveled thousands of miles from South America to North America and continue spreading to new places. Scientists monitor their movements to understand how animals can adapt and expand their homes in different parts of the world. They're on a never-ending adventure, discovering new lands and environments. Why are killer bees important to the environment? There is a lot of controversy over the role killer bees play in the environment. 
Some scientists believe killer bees are vital to the environment because they are excellent pollinators. Pollen sticks to their fuzzy bodies when they visit flowers to collect nectar. As they move from one flower to another, they transfer this pollen, which helps plants make seeds and fruits. This process is essential for the growth of many plants, including the ones we rely on for food, like fruits and vegetables. Plus, they produce great honey. Other scientists think that because killer bees are aggressive toward other bee species, they affect the ecological balance between species. Killer bees are not endangered. They are quite successful and have spread to different parts of the Americas, even including Hawaii. However, their aggressive behavior when defending their nests can sometimes cause challenges for people and other animals. That's why it's essential to understand their behavior and take precautions when they are around. So, while killer bees are not endangered, we need to learn to coexist with them safely in the places where they live. Wow, we just learned some killer bee facts. Let's review. What is aggressive defense? Where did you find that information? True or false, killer bees have a mix of both African and European bee genes. True. Choose the word the author would say best describes killer bees. A. Aggressive. B. Ravenous. C. Endangered. D. Docile. E. Prey. A. Aggressive. Great job, everyone! Remember, you can find this lesson and other great lesson plans on our website, learnbright.org. Hope you had fun learning with us! Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.